And we talk to these players a lot about a four count or a beat that you're playing this game at. It's just a 4-4 beat. And if you've got that ball in your hands longer than two seconds, you're holding up your team. Our belief is that this offense begins immediately when you get the basketball in your hands. Everybody has a programmed route that they can run. And anybody can take that person's place. And as they go up the court, they fill out the court in a certain manner that allows this offense to, to format itself and then to attack. Responsible for nine of the last 15 NBA championships, Phil Jackson and the Triangle Offense have quickly become the words of legend in basketball history. With the help of its author, Tex Winter, the Triangle Offense has returned to the Lakers this season with a main character who brings back memories of Jackson's past. The NBA's all-time winningest coach has had a season of new challenges, but all the while teaching the same old tricks. And as his players learn the most successful offense in NBA history, so do you, the fan, as Phil Jackson explains the Triangle Offense in his own words. This is In My Own Words by Phil Jackson. Basketball 101, particularly Laker basketball 101, involves the triangle offense. And the system uh, tonight that we're going to uh, talk about has a coaching staff here. Uh, Tex Winter, obviously, is going to talk about it and do an introduction. But we also have Andy Meyer and John Sally, whose humor and uh, off-the-cuff remarks are always interesting to hear. Okay, we, we run out of a two-guard front. We have what we call a push guard. He pushes the ball strong up the court. He comes up the floor. We have lane runners. They're out and running, filling, playing the full court game on this penetration we talked about. We like for our second guard to work with the push guard and stay slightly behind the ball. We call that lag pass. And oftentimes, if we can't make the guard wing entry to the strong side right now because of pressing defensive situation, he, that's called a lag pass. So as we swing the ball, the lag pass keys this whole action. All five players key off of this lag pass. They know what happens. In this case now, we'll just say that she goes ahead and forms a triangle, and this is the wing coming into the post. And Sally might be Stay over there, Sally, please. You didn't read the book. <laughs> We're working out of this spacing, which Coach mentioned. The spacing itself means that if a player, if, if they want to double up or two-time this player, they've got to run to 15 to 18-foot distance, which means somebody's going to be open. If the balls move quick, if they try to rotate, they can't move as fast as the ball moves. So this is our basic working position. This is a sideline triangle, and we're going to make a two-pass to the center and he's going to make a speed cut right on the pass down the baseline. Siley, if he'll do it, is going to run a screen for Anna. And she's coming off that pick, coming back out. And as Anna makes the speed cut and comes off of a screen here, she's going to head back for defensive balance, but is alert because she's apt to be the person who's going to get a shot out of this. So you come right on in, Anna, kind of the, right into your wing spot, yeah. Kurt is going to make a speed cut over the top. And Coach, the postman, unless it's Shaq, is going to look for those cutters. <laughs> First cutter, Coach will give if head and shoulders by the defense a drop pass. OK? Kurt, if he's open, he's going to get the pass. So he watches the ball. And as he comes in here, he's going to screen for Sally. And believe it or not, we're going to let Sally try to make a basket. Pop up there and shoot, Sally. Right there. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. But you see, we had a rebounder here. That's the important part. He said, Good no. Idea. Okay. I, I, I want Sally to make a decent shot here. Come on, Sally. Come up here and hit a jumper. Now we're going to be here. Right there. There you go. See that? Okay. All right, let's eat. In this setup, who's representing Kobe? Who would represent Lamar? 
In other words, thank you. 